What's going on, YouTube? Today we got something a little different. Today we actually have a little versus. We have the Google Home, made by Google, versus the Amazon Echo, made by Amazon. Um, so these two are basically like a home automated speaker, next level future technology type thing. Um, I actually have both of them, and I actually like actually like both of them in, um, in their own different ways. Um, but let's go ahead and actually, you know, jump right into it. So I actually have both sitting behind the boxes. Um, one thing I can tell you about the Google Home versus the Amazon Echo, the Google Home is actually more of a conversational piece. So let's say, um, okay, Google, who is the president of the United States? The president of the United States of America is Barack Obama. Okay, Google. How tall is he? He's six feet, one inch tall. So that just gives you an idea of what I mean, conversational. I didn't have to ask him again. I didn't have to say his name or I didn't have to do anything. He just remembered the conversation. Okay, Google. Does he have any kids? Malia Ann Obama and Natasha Obama. So now let's try it with the Echo. Alexa, who is the President of the United States? The U.S. President is Barack Obama. Let's turn that down a little bit. Alexa, does he have any kids? Sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. So that's what I mean by conversational. I, I have to repeat all the time. I have to specify who I'm talking about with Alexa compared to the Google Home. Alexa, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. Alexa, stop. So I'm going to stop saying Alexa. I'm, I'm going to say the, uh, the Echo. But um, yeah, with the Echo, you don't have to, well, you do have to specify what you're talking about uh, compared to the Google Home. So that's one slight niche that I would actually give um, to the Google Home, um, one the the other niche that I would give to Amazon Echo is that there's tons of features out there right now, uh, tons of different things that you can actually do with the the Echo that you can't do right now um, with the Google Home. So just for example, you got all of these apps that you can actually use right now. You could even order order pizza uh, from the Echo. Uh, which, like I said, you can't do that with the Google Home yet. Um, so Google Home right now is just basically for automated stuff. Um, you can control the lights in your home, play some music, do different things like that. But it's limited because it did just uh, come out uh, at the end of this year. So not too many things are available for it. But you can uh, hook it up to your Hue lights. Uh, let me see, Amazon Smart Things. Uh, there's one other thing. Let me, let me actually check. Like I said, it's it's limited, so that's the drawback is that it's too new. But if I was to put my money on which one I, I, I should go with, I'm more of a conversational piece, so I would go with the, the Google Home. But don't get me wrong, this is no slouch. It has way more apps, um, I'm sorry, way more uh, things it can work with throughout your home um, not limited like the Google Home so if you have a lot of stuff and you're big on technology I would definitely tell you go with Amazon if you're like me and you want to have both just buy both but right now I actually like this a little better than the um, Amazon because I hate to repeat myself often um, let, let's try some more things well, let me see what else can I say Alexa tell me a fun fact when he died in 1978, John Cazale had only been in five films, but every one of them was nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. In 1990, footage of him was used in The Godfather Part Three, which was also nominated. Okay, that's something that I didn't know. I still don't know who he is, but that's something I didn't know. And um, let's say, Alexa, how do you say hello in Spanish? Look, it already cut off. Alexa. How do you say hello in Spanish? 
I can't pronounce that, but I've written the translation for you. Well, all right. Okay, Google. How do I say hello in Spanish? Hola. <laughs> so, that's just um, a brief overview of, of both of them. Uh, let's try to play some music. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, Google. Play some music. All right, here's some music on Google Play Music. <laughs> okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. Alexa, play some music. Here's a station you might like, Jill Scott. So one thing I will tell you guys, the Amazon Echo, amazing, amazing, amazing. Spe Actually, both of them have amazing speakers. Um, I didn't turn up this one all the way because it is, it is quite loud. But if I was to choose based on speaker quality, I would definitely go with the, the Echo over the Google Home. But the, like I said, they're both no slouches. Let me try to play some more music, but let me turn both of them up to their max. Um, so if you want to basically adjust the volume levels, you'll do this until the bar, that's to lower it all the way. And this is actually turning it up all the way. With the Google Home, you actually put your, rest your finger on it and move around until you see all the, all right, the buttons go away. So that's the lowest volume. You do the same thing to turn it all the way back up. So let's just try it again with both speakers on max. Okay, Google. Play Sia. Sure, check out the Sia radio mix on Google Play Music. Okay, Google. Stop. Alexa, play Sia. Shuffling songs by Sia. So there you have it, guys. I, th I Like I said, I would definitely go with the speaker. If you want uh, you know, quality as far as the sound quality from the speaker, I would definitely go with this. But for all around, um, you can't really lo lose with either, uh, to be honest with you. I do tend to favor the Google side a little bit, but that's just my personal preference. But you can't lose either way. Anyway, guys, this was a, a versus uh, video today. Try to do something a little different for the holidays. Um, if you want to buy anybody in your family or even buy it for yourself for the holidays, you won't be able to, uh, you won't be disappointed with either. Anyway, guys, it's, um, thanks for tuning in again. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Happy holidays.